This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com. Be sure to visit SoccerPro.com for all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices with no membership fees. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off a $75 purchase, plus free shipping within the U.S. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on-feed video of the Warrior Screamer S Lite Soccer Shoes. So I'll open up the box here so you can see what you get. They do include a shoe bag, which is always nice. It's a black shoe bag with the Warrior logo in silver, and then the Screamer Pro logo in silver and orange. Always nice to get some extras with your shoes, and that is all that's included in the box other than the shoes themselves. So I'll take the shoes out, get the box out of the way, and give you guys a look at these, because these are some crazy looking soccer shoes. This is the S Lite model, which is the synthetic model. There's also a K Lite model available, which I'll leave an annotation on screen to the unboxing plus on feed video of that because that went up about a week ago. If you haven't seen it already, definitely recommend checking that out because it's very, very different from this particular shoe. Um, as far as the S-Lite model is concerned, the very first thing I wanted to talk about is the overall styling on here. And uh, I've heard mixed reviews on this. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. And honestly, this is a design that you can come to expect from Warrior. For those of you that are familiar with Warrior, prior to them entering the soccer market, their hockey stuff, their lacrosse stuff, all features this very edgy, very similar styling to what you saw on the Screamer S Lite. That again, it got taken with mixed reviews, but I think that's a good thing. To me, this is a shoe design that, while it is very, very loud, and it's not something that I personally am a big fan of in terms of looks as a whole, it has personality to it, which is something that I think uh, soccer shoe design is lacking now. We're seeing so many shoes that just, they look the same over and over again. And this is something that's com just completely unique out there. Nothing else on the market looks like this shoe, which I think is totally cool. Let me know your opinion on the overall looks of this shoe. And trust me when I say that this shoe looks a lot better in person than the online stock photos can show. So if you do want to get a better idea as to how the shoe actually does look, uh, go ahead and check out the review page on my website. There'll be a link in the description of that. And there's all kinds of close-up images on here where you can see all the details that you can't see in the online stock photos. And again, just trust me when I say this is a very cool looking shoe in person, especially if you're looking to stand out and be different from everybody else out there on the field. Um, as far as the synthetic upper is concerned, um, I was worried about this shoe coming out in synthetic simply because synthetics are a tough market to break into. Um, lots of companies have been kind of working at their synthetics and they're just now getting to kind of produce synthetics that are pretty good. For example, Adidas is one of those companies. I feel like their synthetics are just kind of catching up at this point. They're finally getting to be pretty good synthetics. And honestly, this is a shoe that um, impressed me. I didn't expect the synthetic to be this nice on the shoe. It is a one piece synthetic microfiber upper and uh, they did this shoe very unique. If you look at this kind of like light blue color on here, that's where the one piece synthetic is. All these other colors and all this extra detail on here is added on after the fact. So basically you have this one solid, very light blue synthetic all the way around. Again, it's one piece. There's no stitch, stitch seams on this shoe at all other than this one stitch here at the back, which is very, very impressive that they were able to do that. And uh, basically all these little extra things, this navy section, the warrior logo, these little PU fins going around the forefoot area are added on after the fact with some kind of heat molded process, uh, similar to like a hyperfuse that we see from some of Nike's um, basketball and running shoes, which is somewhat unusual and it's really well done. The finishing on here is fantastic. Everything's in its place. Everything seems to be very well made and well constructed. Nothing feels like it's cheap or gonna fall apart, which again is very, very important and can be, the case, can be an issue with a lot of synthetic shoes and it's just not with this shoe, which I'm very, very impressed with. Um, for on Warriors part anyways. Um, as far as these little kind of arrowhead vamps you have going on the front, that's exactly what they're called. They're called the four foot arrowhead vamps. And you can see there's these little rubber PU fins that are kind of shaped like arrowheads. And basically they're direct injected into the microfiber upper itself. And uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. And it's something that reminds me very much of like the Predator LZ. Or for those of you that can remember some of the older Umbro stuff that had the Michelin rubber tire stuff on here, that's what this reminds me of. And uh, honestly, it's very well done. They made these very little, very small fins, so it's very sectioned out, and it flows really well with the upper. You can see it kind of has that snake skin, reptile skin look to it, and honestly, it doesn't come off. It's not all that aggressive in terms of how far it raises from the upper, and I'm very curious to see how that's going to perform in terms of just touches on the ball and the amount of grip it's going to add when striking and trying to bend the ball. Um, just very, very cool technology, and again, 
something that's unique that we haven't seen yet in the soccer world. So very curious to try this out. Again, if you want to check out those high quality images on here to get a better idea of the overall depth of this actual rubber, go ahead and check out those high quality images on my website. As far as the lacing system is concerned, you can see it still has that same offset lacing system with the laces kind of going very deep to the outside of the shoe. And again, because this is a synthetic model as opposed to the leather um, K-Lite version, Again, it's curious because this, this dynamic uh, kind of lacing system here that's unlike anything else out there on the market was good on the K-Lite version simply because the leather could stretch. So I'm not sure how the shape is going to work out with this synthetic model. Again, we'll see that in the on-feet pictures because I've yet to try this shoe on. You still have that same exact synthetic tongue like you get on the uh, kangaroo leather version. And then you have these kind of uh, navy and orange overlays on the upper through the midfoot. And while that may appear to be nothing, it's actually a design element of the shoe. That's what they call the thorax exoskeleton. And you see how it's running on the inside and the outside. And think of it as kind of like a sprint frame from the Adidas Adi Zero, but it's basically on the outside of the shoe and it's there to provide that lateral support when pushing off and really hug the foot and hold it in place when you are kind of having these really quick side to side movements to keep the upper from kind of moving and stretching with you. So it's gonna have that more one to one feel when it is tied up on your foot. So now, again, a very cool idea and it's interesting that they put it on the outside of the shoe as opposed to the inside. Um, as far as the heel liner is concerned, you can see you have that same exact dimpled, almost basketball-like heel liner like you would get from the K-Lite model. And then of course the entire liner, it's hard to show you guys on camera, but the entire liner is completely seamless. It's all one single material. There's no stitching, no seams at all. So it's gonna be very, very difficult to get a blister in these shoes, um, which is gonna make them very comfortable for a synthetic model, which is somewhat unusual. As far as the insole is concerned, you do get that arrow bed insole, which again, I've talked about before. It's very, very good. It's more padded than your average soccer shoe insole, but it gives the shoe fantastic step in comfort. It feels more like a running shoe on your feet rather than a soccer shoe, just in terms of the amount of cushioning that it provides, which is very, very good. If you're gonna be playing on harder surfaces, this is a very comfortable shoe to wear. Um, no matter what surface you're playing on simply because this insole just offers a ton a ton of comfort It's very it reminds me of like the micro G insoles that you get from some of the Under Armour stuff And honestly it feels really nice on your feet and does a good job of uh, Just providing really good step in comfort for the shoe um, as far as other extra elements you're going to find on this shoe, you do have the murder hole cutouts on the Achilles guard as well as on the tongue. And this is kind of there for allowing for um, really good adjustability to the shoe. It's easy to put on because you can grab onto these murder holes. They're very easy to grab onto. And it also adds for tons of flexibility in the back of the shoe, which is really, really nice. Another unique feature on here is the actual um, kind of heel, external heel counter itself. Um, you can see it covers the back of the shoe just to provide that little bit of extra protection, but there's nothing else on the side. It's left completely blank while the shoe is a little bit higher cut to begin with. So you get a very supportive feel, but because there's no extra plastic running down the sides here, um, you get very good free range of motion, which is very important. Um, so you gotta get a, the best of both worlds here. It feels like a low cut shoe, but it offers the support of a higher cut shoe, which is really nice. And something that, again, is completely unique to the Warrior Screamer line of soccer shoes. You can see you have these little hang offs on the outside and inside of the shoe, and that's just to hold your heel in place. So there's no lack of support in the heel area like I was talking about earlier. Then of course you do have this little kind of back guard here with the Warrior logo in orange, which looks really good as well. As far as the sole plate and stud pattern is concerned, uh, the sole plate features this carbon carbon fiber shank running down the middle, and that is called the Expo Shank from Ort Warrior. And again, it's there to provide that nice responsiveness, that good stiffness through the through the midfoot area for striking the ball. But it's also very very flexible. The shoe's st stuffed right now with paper, so it can't really flex. But trust me when I say this is a very very flexible shoe. It doesn't feel stiff and awkward like most carbon fiber sole plates do, and it has a natural curve to it. They made it pre-curved, so again, it doesn't feel like it's going to be too stiff. You're not gonna have issues with your heel rubbing because the sole plate's not bending enough. It's very, very flexible, but still provides good stiffness where it needs to be stiff. And then as far as this white area running around the carbon fiber, that's made out of PBAX. So PBAX is basically a very responsive 
um, plastic material. It's a little bit more flexible than your average plastic. And again, it works very, very well here. p backs again, it's one of those more premium materials you don't see on too many shoes. Um, shoes that come to mind that use p backs are like the Nike GS, for example. Um, some of the Puma V1 SL series use the p backs Like the new Evo Speed 1 SL uses a full p back sole plate and stud pattern. Um, so that's the same material you're going to find on here. And again, it works very well. It's a very nice plastic. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, this is called Claw Tech Blades from Warrior. And you can see they're kind of shaped like claws. You have a clear stud with these little kind of orange um, almost like yeah claw looking things or they almost look like shark teeth to me um, kind of in the middle of the studs those are kind of your little support things and honestly the stud pattern works really well as well I've already gotten a chance to use the K-Lite uh, model for quite a while now and the stud pattern really works well you can see it has kind of these slight 60 degree angles onto them and again it kind of runs on that same basis where you have the the kind of harder edges on the inside so you have uh, plenty of power when pushing off lots of grip and then the outside of the stud is a little bit more rounded so you have a quicker release when you do push off. So again, it's, uh, you get that straight edge when pushing off and then the outside edge is rounded so you have a quicker release from the ground. And you have those three studs on the inside, three studs on the outside, the one support stud in the middle, and then of course your four heel studs in the back. It's just really unique how they did the shoe and overall I couldn't be more impressed. But that's enough about the unboxing of the overall shoe and we'll go on to a quick weigh in. As far as weight is concerned, the Warrior Screamer s Lite is actually a pretty light soft shoe. In hand they feel nice and light and the listed weight on this guy is 7.4 ounces which is pretty light and surprising for a shoe that's going to be this supportive as well that features rubber elements on the upper which generally make up for quite a bit of weight when it comes to putting them on a soccer shoe. So I'll throw these on the scale. This is a brand new pair in a size 9 US so you can see what it does weigh in real time and it weighs in at 8.2 ounces so above the listed weight which is no surprise they probably weighed in at a smaller size which is not unusual for any of these companies. It, these shoes almost never weigh in at the exact listed weight, but I just wanted to give you an idea as to how lightweight these shoes actually are. Anytime you're around that eight ounce mark, that's pretty much a sweet spot as far as lightweight soccer shoes are concerned. Um, so I just wanted to give you an idea of what they actually weigh, and we'll move on to what they look like and how they fit on feet. All right, well here's a look at the Warrior Screamer s Light shoes on feet. As you can see, they still have that very unique look to them, very crazy looking shoes. If you're looking to stand out, this is definitely the pair to do it. I'll give you that full 360 tour of these guys, because honestly they are some wild looking shoes, especially when they are in the light. As far as sizing and the overall fit of the shoe is concerned, they fit pretty nicely from right out of the box. Um, because it has that really deep lacing system, it gives you a lot of adjustability in the shoe as far as the width is concerned. Um, but I def have, definitely have to say that in the synthetic model as opposed to the kangaroo leather model, there's a lot less width in the shoe, especially in the forefoot and toe box area. It seems to be put, cut pretty narrow, very similar to like a mercurial shoe if I had to compare it to something else out there on the market. Um, but as far as the, mid the midfoot is concerned, you have lots and lots of width there as well as in the heel. But uh, it does a really good job of kind of securing everything in place because you have so much adjustment stability with the lacing system. As far as sizing is concerned, they definitely do fit true to size. I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. I'm like right at the end exactly as I would want it to be. So if you want that really tight fit like I like to have, definitely stay true to size. And if you want a little bit of extra room, then definitely go up half a size to have that little bit of extra space at the toe. But other than that guys, that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion is concerned. Again, the synthetic is really good quality on here. It doesn't have very much kind of bend to it when you do flex your foot. There's not too much creasing. Um, there's not a lot of extra space in the toe box at all. And again, the shape as a whole is pretty good in my opinion. But again, that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion is concerned. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, well that's it for my unboxing of the Warrior Screamer s Light Soccer Shoes. Very unique styling to it. Very interesting design elements to the shoe as well. And I can't wait to get to testing these guys. As far as the forward review is concerned, I will have that up in the next couple of weeks after I get to wear these for at least a pretty good chunk of time before I give my real opinion on them. So if you want to see that forward review, it will be up in the next couple of weeks. There will be a link down below in the description to that review page. In the meantime, on that review page, you're going to find the high quality images of this shoe, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including some exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get you guys some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair for yourself. Um, other than that, guys, 
If you do have any questions regarding the shoe, or if you would like to see a comparison between the synthetic model and the kangaroo leather version, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know that you do want to see that. If enough of you comment, I definitely will get to making that particular video. Um, other than that guys, if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, feel free to hit that subscribe button for daily soccer equipment videos on all the latest soccer gear. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.